Let's face it, nobody speaks in perfect sound bites, but being ready with clear, compelling messages can go a long way. When we load our science communications with too many qualifications, the main point can get lost. Non-scientists are left wondering if we said anything definitive at all. And part of the problem is that political opponents of climate solutions will use almost anything, even familiar scientific disclaimers like margin of error and degree of uncertainty, to make people think that scientists are unsure of their findings. So what should a scientist do? Here are four simple messaging guidelines. First, emphasize what is known, not all the unknowns. A few simple phrases can call attention to your key findings. And remember, many people need to hear the climate science basics too. Basics that may seem obvious or simplistic to an expert. These help put new information into context. Second, invert the standard order for reporting scientific findings. Start with the conclusions, then give the background. Third, less is more. When you're in front of a TV camera, you might only have 30 seconds to get the main point across. Be ready with clear, simple messages about what's most important and repeat them often. That's what will be quoted. Finally, speak in plain language, not scientific code. You'll lose your audience with insider jargon, technical terms, and acronyms. Here are those four tips again. Emphasize what is known. Invert the pyramid. What you say first matters. Less is more. Stick to a few key points and repeat, repeat, repeat. And speak in plain language, not code. Sightline flashcards are research-based messaging tools designed for busy people like you. Let us know if you'd like to join our flashcard email list.